Breaking news, the Chicago Bears have officially begun their OTAs, organized team activities, as we are on the countdown for the upcoming NFL season. What is going on, y'all? Fox Sports Talk, back at it with another video talking. Of course, my NFL here to talk about the Chicago Bears. So if you're a Bears fan, please do subscribe to the channel. Please make sure you're following me on all my social media platforms. And as always, you guys, hit the bell icon so you're notified every time I drop a new video. So, folks, OTAs really just snuck up on me, and I'm sure a lot of you as well, because they've already begun, all right? And OTAs, basically, for those that don't know, stands for Organized Team Activities, and they're basically voluntary workouts that involve rookies and uh, veterans as well. Again, voluntary. And so let me just talk real quickly about the dates here. So they actually began yesterday, May 22nd uh, and 23rd. They uh, continue on May 25th, then uh, May 30th to June 1st, and then June 5th through June 8th. All right. So it's basically uh, the Bears meeting as a team for 10 of these voluntary workouts. Okay. And this is important, people, because this Bears team has made a lot of changes from this past season. And there's a lot of things I'm looking forward to in OTAs, which I'll obviously give you guys updates for. There's really five things I want to talk about, though, that I'm looking forward to, right? In no particular order, let's get started. Number one, first and foremost, everybody is going to want to know how Justin Fields is progressing going into year three of his career, year two of him being in Luke Getz's offense. Obviously, that is the biggest thing, right? How is number one progressing the quarterback? And uh, I have a lot of optimism that Fields breaks out this year, and I've had videos talking about that very uh, topic and why I believe that to be the case, namely because it is the second year for him in this offense. He's going to be very comfortable, way more comfortable than he was last year. But yeah, Fields' progression, how he's looking, that to me is the number one storyline. I said it in no particular order, but there we go. It is the number one thing, all right? Moving on, uh, the offensive line, right? That is a huge part of of how this next season is going to shape out. How does the offensive line look? All right. First and foremost, obviously, who are kind of the starters here, right? We, we've kind of penciled in who we like on the depth chart and who fits where, but is it going to be that case in OTAs? Again, it's volunteers. So maybe not everyone's there, but uh, we're looking at, obviously, new rookie Darnell Wright at the right tackle spot. Is that really where he's going to be? I presume so. You've got your new free agent, Nate Davis. Is he going to be on the left side of the line at the left guard spot? We presume so. And the center spot, is it Lucas Patrick? Uh, is it Cody Whitehair? Uh, where's Tevin Jenkins fitting in? What about Braxton Jones? And especially, actually, Nate Davis could be on the right guard, uh, right side as well. So we'll see. Like, there's a lot of questions here overall. How does the group look? Where does everyone fit in? Who are the starters looking like? And, you know, kind of everything else in between. Uh, the third thing, the pass rush. Who is providing the pass rush? This is the worst positional group for the Bears by far in terms of their entire team. We lack pass rushers. And the interior of the offensive line got improved, obviously, because we drafted a bunch of guys in Javon Dexter and Zach Pickens, and we did sign some guys and Andrew Billings. But Ed Rushers, man, it is barren for the Bears. So who is providing that, right? Who is the guy? Is it Demarcus Walker? Is it Dominic Robinson? Is it, um, you know, uh, is it someone else? So who exactly is giving us the edge rush here, uh, a pass rush help? Is it Travis Gibson? So I'm going to be looking forward to that. And look, that doesn't mean we still can't make a move here. We've still got a, a long time before the season starts. So Ryan Poles has talked about bringing in more help for the pass rush spot. That could be the case. All right. So pass rush is the third thing. Number four, uh, the new wide receiver group, namely DJ Moore. How is his, is his chemistry with Justin Fields? It looks to be good so far, but I really want to get updates on how it's looking. Uh, again, uh, DJ Moore is the biggest thing, for, obviously, for the wide receiver group. But then Darnell Moody coming off the injury. Chase Claypool coming off a, a poor end to the season. And now more comfortable, being more comfortable in the Bears offense. He's actually my breakout player for the Bears in 2023. So I have high expectations for Chase Claypool. How does he look? What about Tyler Scott, the rookie we drafted, right? Could he be somebody that challenges potentially Chase Claypool or another receiver and really impresses? Is he going to already surpass Vilas Jones Jr. on the depth chart? So many questions I'm interested about answering with the wide receiver group. And then finally, number five, the running back spot. Folks, 
Roshan Johnson, we've all heard the glowing remarks about him. Is he really going to be stepping in right away into a starting role? Or is he going to be brought along slowly? Is he going to impress the coaching staff so much that they don't have a choice but to start this kid? How does the new acquisition in Deontay Foreman look? How about Tra Travis Homer? And then you've got Khalil Herbert, who everybody supposedly thinks is going to take the mantle at the running back spot after Monty left. How does he look? So that I'm so interested in seeing. So there's so many storylines, so many questions. I was just giving you my top five, but I could probably go top 15. But I, I can't wait to see how this, this offseason shakes up and, and how it looks for the Bears going into the season, man. But I'm, I'm excited more than anything. Uh, tell me what you guys believe is your biggest storyline that you're looking forward to, man. Th this is by far to me one of the most exciting off seasons that I've had as a Bears fan. And, and, and I can't wait for the season to start. So let me know what you guys think, man. Leave a comment down below uh, with your kind of most exciting or looking forward to thing for the Bears in OTAs as always.